Okay. Uh, Justin, would you have any advice for um, any people who are scared or afraid of protesting? Well, I, I mean, you know, like it does, the, the first steps, the first step is always the hardest. But once you take that first step, after that it's, it's no problem. I mean, you know, we're heading down here now this morning with the Dublin Says No Match. We're going to go down there, so there's a huge number of us. We're going to block up traffic. We'll probably get a little bit of views, I don't know. You know, but like I have no problem whatever doing it. Like this time last year, actually, um, because I wasn't able to make the Ballyhay match on the Sunday morning with the All Ireland semi finals, we actually arranged a match up here from the Garden of Remembrance out to Croke Park all right. behind our little banner. And the first day that we did it, there were eight of us. Right. And we went out on the street, yeah. stepped out onto the street, marched up along there with the fans, the cock and gold, the fans the first day, you know, on the footpaths beside us each way, talking to us, some of them slagging us, some of them supporting us and cheering us. And we sat and followed behind us, not a one. Because okay. taking that first step out there, you know, requires a little bit of courage. But once you've done it, you won't be back. Okay, thank you very much. No Great stuff. Would you have any message for like Irish people that are scared or embarrassed of showing up for protests? What's there to be scared of? Okay. You've got one choice, your children. Mm -hmm. If you're going to come out to stand up for something, stand up for your children. They've been sold down the river. What are you going to do? Let the government tie them into a lifetime of debt? End the Kenya's park billions on their future that they have to pay for. As, and he's telling you that it's all right. It's not going to be all right. These billions gather interest. 64 billion today. It could be 124 billion in 30 years' time. So get out and march. All right, thanks very much. And uh, would you have any advice for people who are scared or nervous about coming out to protest? Well, the first thing I would say, I have never met a lovelier bunch of people. People that we pro protest together uh, basically have all become really good friends. The, you know, if, you, if you're fearful of coming into a big bunch of people, I mean, we're more than welcome to contact us online. We have no problem meeting up with you. Um, there's also a place in Dublin city centre called the Hub Ireland. Mm. I mean, there's people in there that would be very happy to talk to you and maybe give you advice or, you know, well, yeah, a friendly place to meet first and foremost. Maybe if you're that nervous, I'd have no problem meeting up with anybody, you know, so. <laughs> Just, would you have any advice for any people who are scared or embarrassed or, you know, unsure about bothering to come out? There's nothing to be afraid of. Mm. Um, the only fear you have is, is in your mind. All fear is in your mind. The government is 15 people. You know, you meet 15 people every day of the week. They're not special. They're not, uh, you know, a different class of people. They're just human beings. Um, they have control of a system that puts you where you are today in serious economic depression, under pressure at home, um, in, you know, under pressure with your family, with your job. Um, there's nothing to be afraid of, but fear is all in the mind, there's nothing to be afraid of. Stand up for what you believe. Would you have any advice for people uh, wanting to come out uh, to protest or a bit afraid, maybe? Uh, I would just say, you know, step outside your comfort zone, you're doing it for your children. It's a worry, 2053 is way too late. And uh, would you have any advice to people who are scared, maybe you're nervous but protesting? Absolutely nothing to be afraid of. Everybody that comes out protesting is delighted to see you. We're all very friendly people. The more people we have, obviously, the better. Um, if you're anyway concerned or have any um, problems with getting out, contact one of your local groups. There's lots of groups out there. There's anti-eviction task forces. Dublin says no, um, to name but a few. There's absolutely lots of tons of groups out there. Get in touch with them. Ask them when they're protesting, where they're protesting. Maybe connect with one, one or two members so that you have a friendly face that you can go and um, meet up with initially to be introduced to all the other people that are out there and once you start you're going to love it. Okay, thanks very much. 
you have any advice to people that are scared of protesting or nervous? Absolutely. Uh, I would say there are 100 different, 100 different ways to protest. Find a way that works for you. Find a way that... Sort of think, what would make me get involved with something? You yeah. Know? Like, what's fun? Uh, make it fun, you know? You've got to start with a small local target, gradually build momentum, and as people see a winning team win, they want to join in. And we are good. Well done. You got it. Marcus Howard, test one, two, three.